Today we're going to go over the basic setup of a base and rover unit to get your GNSS system running on your site to be able to get uh, the most accurate type of corrections possible. First step is going to be to uh, open SCS 900, the software that controls uh, what we call the rover, which is the GPS or GNSS unit up here. And then we've got a base station, which is the very same one over there. Now, uh, it doesn't have to be on a pole. This could be on a magnet mount on the top of your truck, uh, just set onto a small post on top of a wall or something like that. The key thing, you just don't want it to be on a platform that's going to actually move. Um, once you open up SCS 900, it brings you right to the open site window here. And what we're going to do is just create a new site. So we can pull the drag down menu, hit new site. Uh, then we'll type in our job and we'll call this one setup. Uh, base station um, all the other units uh, things like that those are going to be dependent upon your job so we'll hit next there then uh, it's going to ask us all these different kinds of options and for most types of sites here unless you're actually given a design by an engineer or have some other kind of information you're just going to uh, leave those blank uh, then we'll go into the finish and then you actually need a work order to set that up and what a work order is is essentially it's a folder where all of your days or your particular projects data gets stored so if you were going to do a couple different tasks um, within one particular site so you're at one location but you have a couple different uh, tasks you want to perform you'd break those out into different work orders so this one here we'll just call this one base so we'll do that we'll finish and uh, for a design uh, we don't need a design at this point either. So here we're just kind of configuring what we're going to be doing. And so now it's going to ask us what we want to do with our receivers. So in this instance, for the very first time that you arrive at any site, um, you're going to hit base. Uh, you're going to connect up by a Bluetooth, which is the way that the data collector here in your hands actually talks to the, uh, to the receivers over there. And I've got my base station over there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit scan for devices. And this will take uh, a minute or so in order to look through the different Bluetooth devices and, and find and match up with this. The, uh, it, it will list devices by their serial number and if any name gets put in. So I know that that uh, receiver over there that we're using as a base station uh, is number going to have the last two digits will be number 80. So uh, hopefully that will show up in the list. And uh, again, this does take a little bit. You just have to be patient, but as long as the progress bar is moving that is a good thing so we're going to look down we've got um, an SPS 585 which is the model number and number 80 so we're going to connect right up to that one um, then it'll do a little bit more progress bar mapping as we uh, connect up to that uh, particular base station there so here we're going to use um, the Wi-Fi option so what that is, is that that means that there's going to be a Wi-Fi network set up between the base and the rover that will send the, uh, the correction signals back and forth between the, uh, between the instruments. And here for the setup, in this instance, we're going to do just do base anywhere. And I'll talk more about that as, uh, as we continue on. So here, and um, for the measure method, uh, just to the bottom of the antenna, we've got that nice graphic there. And the vertical height in, in this instance, um, that is a fixed height tripod, or uh, sorry, pole on a bipod that we know is two meters high. So here, even though we're in feet, we can actually just hit two and then the letter button and then meters, and that will automatically convert that into the equivalent uh, measurement in feet. And so all that's going to do is that actually we just configured the base. Uh, we told it to grab what's called an autonomous position, so it was able to calculate its position. Um, right there, and now we have a little bit of, um, of data there. So that's how you actually just set up a base using Base Anywhere. Fairly uh, simple and straightforward. And then now that base, once it's been configured once in that Base Anywhere setting, uh, no matter what site you're on or any, any other additional time, you should only have to do that once. So now you can just roll up to any particular site, put that base station anywhere you like, uh, top of a truck, on a pole like that, on a tripod, uh, on the top of the wall, as long as you have a clear view of the sky, and it's not going to move, and then you just have to turn it on, and that's all we have to do. 
So that's uh, that's it for the base setup. We'll cover the uh, the rover setup. So what the kind of the smart end of the stick uh, does in in another video.